Question 14b. The vectors u and v are not parallel. The vector p is the projection of u onto the vector v. The vector p is parallel to v, so it can be written lambda naught v for some real number lambda naught. Do not prove this. Prove that the magnitude of u minus lambda v is smallest when lambda equals lambda naught by showing that for all real numbers lambda, the magnitude of u minus lambda naught v is less than or equal to the magnitude of u minus lambda v. Consider the following diagram. Let C, O and A be collinear points on a plane. O, B is the vector u. O, C is the projection of u onto vector v, which is the vector p, which can be written as lambda naught v. O, A is lambda v, where lambda is some real number. A, B is u minus lambda v. And B, C is u minus lambda naught v. Triangle A, B, C is right angled with the right angle at C, since P is the projection of U onto V. In any right angle triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is greater than or equal to the length of the shorter sides. Hence, the length of vector AB must be greater than or equal to the length of vector BC. And vector AB is U minus lambda V and vector BC is U minus lambda naught V. So the inequality becomes the length of u minus lambda v must be greater than or equal to the length of u minus lambda naught v. Therefore, the length of u minus lambda v is smallest when the length of u minus lambda v is equal to the length of u minus lambda naught v, which occurs when lambda is equal to lambda naught.